I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me for episode number 269. Select S and select greater than a comparison. Came across this one the other day and I wanted to be sure to share it with you. This is going into some Quantrix theory about the two different functions of select S and select greater than and maybe some nuances that are associated with each of these functions. So I have a model here that has a list of inventory by year by month. And the two functions that, again, that we're comparing are select S. And what select S does is it returns a list of cells from a value range that correspond to a test range that meet a condition. And that condition can be something like a greater than zero, less than zero, equal to some other number. Okay, a select greater than function goes ahead and brings back all of those values where this lookup range is greater than the specified value as my third argument in the formula. And what I want to show is how a select greater than zero and a select s with a conditional format of greater than zero at times is the same things and at times it may give you a different result. And why is that? So first off with a select s what it's doing is I would say here in this formula I would say in join select s equals I'm going to throw a join statement in there. What that does, it just concatenates my list by some separator, which in this case I'm going to put a comma. But my list is going to be select S. And what is my value range I want to bring back? I want to bring back matrix 1, which is over here, and I want to bring back the inventory. All right. And my test range is going to be matrix 1, inventory. And my condition is going to be because it's a condition, I'm going to put greater than uh, zero, and I'm going to put it in double quotes like that. And then my separator is going to be a comma. And you can see that it brings back a list of those values of 12 to 15 and 19, because they are greater than zero, as I have specified. You would expect it not to show zero, and it doesn't show zero, because zero is not greater than zero. A select greater than, though, what is it doing? I would say in join select greater than equals join and then I'm going to select greater than uh, what do I want to select greater than on I want to do that on inventory what is my key list it's going to be inventory and what value am I looking up to be greater than my lookup value here I'm simply going to put a zero my comma separator for my join is then added and then I get this value and I see that this is a little bit different. I have 2, 4, 5, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 9. So what's happening with the select greater than is it is actually going out and it is sorting and putting in my list a sorted list of these values here where I am greater than zero. So with a select S with the greater than con zero condition it just goes out and maintains the order right that I have in my I guess in my array whereas a select greater than is actually going out and it's reordering or it's sorting that array so that's kind of critical going downstream so for say a sum function right if I were to perform a sum on these I would say go up here and say in sum of select s equals sum of select s uh, matrix one inventory matrix one inventory is my key list and then I put in my condition of greater than zero like so and if I were to sum that I would get you know 108 if I were to do this here in uh, select in sum select greater than it equals sum select greater than uh, what are the values I want to return its inventory what do I want to look up is my inventory and I want it greater than zero right it gives me the same value when I do my select greater than where I may run into problems is if I wanted to bring back say the first value that was greater than uh, my condition or greater than zero 
in this example. Then I run into a discrepancy. So if I go in uh, first, I would say first. I want to bring back my first uh, value in my list. I would say select S, sorry, in first, select S is what I'm saying. And then I would say first select. It brings back the first value in a list. Select S. What is my what do I want to return? I want to return my inventory. What is my test range? It is inventory. And what is my criteria? It is greater than zero. If I go ahead and throw that in there. You can see that I bring back 12. And generally that would be correct. But if I go into select greater than, and I say in first, or I use select greater than, rather, and I say first, select greater than. Uh, what's my value list? This guy here. Uh, my key list is that guy, and I want him greater than zero. That's my lookup value. And again, I want that to be first. Then it says that my first value is 2 versus 12. So when I'm summing it, when I'm performing an aggregate, the select greater than and select s work exactly the same. But when I go ahead and I use something that pulls out the position, maybe, or references a position, such as in the first function or maybe the last function, then I'm going to get a different value. Because what is happening is select greater than is actually sorting the list, whereas a select s is maintaining kind of the, the structure of the list. So that's something that uh, you need to be aware of if you're kind of doing this deep type of Quantrix theory where you're looking at select s versus select greater than and maybe you're using a function that's pulling back maybe the first or the last. Anyway, I think that's awesome. As we dive into Quantrix, we can learn some amazing things together about this awesome software. And this is something that I did not know until about a month ago. And I wanted to make sure I shared it with you so that you can become a Quantrix master. And if you have any questions about Quantrix, I do hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. And I hope that you will join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.